Same exact problem, first graders, different strategy. So we did the math mountains, um, just reviewing. We did counting on, and now we're gonna do a, make a 10 strategy, which is a little bit more complicated, but we practiced it a lot, and I think we got really good at it. So I just wanna show you, kind of remind you how it works. Autumn read four books. Olivia read seven books. How many books did the girls read all together? So I wanted to use the same problem, um, just a little bit different strategy. So for this one, I'm gonna use cubes. Um, again, I Ms. Donis likes to work with the part of the equation that has the, mo uh, the most value. So again, with Olivia, seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then Autumn reads four. But in this strategy, we have to make a 10. So we have seven that Olivia read. And we now we're going to put Autumn's books and it's four and those are going to be represented with yellow cubes so we have seven eight nine ten so i made a ten and eleven Autumn read four books, Olivia read seven books. How many books did the girls read all together? So with a make a 10 strategy, it's easy to then count because we just say 10, 11. Or, and then we can represent it different ways. We can say seven plus four, equals 11, which is the same as seven plus three, which is 10 plus one. Seven plus three is 10 plus one. It's the same as 11. This is the make a 10 strategy.